Look at this beautiful dram. Skål. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we have a rum review and I have a rum, a second rum of uh, the kind that I was very surprised of that I, when I made it the last time. It is the, this weird one, XX, but this time number two. Last time I did it, it was number three. So this one is number two. And as the last one, there was something here that was a little bit difficult for me to um, to say right, but I'm gonna try again. Uh, Coparication Alcohols del Carib. I don't know how you say that, but it's, it's, it's probably translated into something like a corporate alcohol, alcohol company of Caribbean or something like that. Yeah, but let's get into the facts. I have my notes here. Um, it cost around 550 Danish crowns for 70 centiliters. That is about 50 uh, English pounds and maybe 60, 65 euros or dollars. Um, it is 53 no, not 53, 59.3% alcohol, so high ABV. It is not chill filtered and it is not artificially colored. So this is amazing. Look at how dark this one is. It's not colored. Very good, very, very nice. This is a rum from Venezuela. It was distilled in column stills in April 2005 from molasses it was distilled from molasses and it was first matured in French oak until June of 2017 then it was finished off maturing in X rum cask and this is barrel number 39 until it was bottled in August 2019. So it's only a few months ago that this one was bottled. There was only made 251 of this one, so very rare. And if you can if you can get your hands on it, you can. It's still very common to buy out there. You can easily get your hands on it. You probably should, or maybe wait and see this review and see if you like it or if you like what I say about it. I have some water here I wanna put in, but first I wanna nose it and sip it without the water, then put in the water and uh, do it again just to see what that does. There's no sponsored content in this video and as always everything on this channel is just my opinion. I have my beautiful Luigi Bormioli glass here, but we will Let's get into the most important stuff, nosing and tasting. So, I think I found out what that XXX, well, it's just a company, but the way that they do it is that they, um, wow, I could feel the aroma without even putting my nose down to it. Um, they kind of only make one rum, and then they wait and then they so there has been a number one and I jumped ahead and tried number three and this one is actually you know like the continuation of number one and they just choose what kind of one they want to make and then they make that and that's pretty much all they have There's a lot of power there, of course, alcohol-wise, but also flavors. There's some sharpness from the alcohol. But I'm actually getting a lot of sweetness from, those, from that molasses, um, honey, 
caramel, but also something toffee, toffee, uh, not just caramel, also toffee. But there's also definitely exotic fruits there. Pineapple, I think. I'm not getting any coconut, but pineapple and, uh, and those sorts of fruits, exotic fruits. Maybe there's... I'm not sure, maybe that will show a little bit more when I put in the water, but it seems like there's some spice and oak in the back from those French oaks. It's been 12 years in those oaks so but let's um let's taste it so let's go so the palette is pretty much overpowered by the high ABV. The finish though, there's um, pretty much the same flavors as there was on the nose. A um, lot of sweetness from that molasses, but also those exotic fruits, but I can't pinpoint what kind it is. So let's put a little bit of water in this. So this bottle is three, three centiliters, so there are might be one centiliter in here. This is one centiliter. So that looked right to me. Remember when adding water, you can always add more, but you can't take out what you've added. So better put in a little bit and only put a little bit in your glass of the, of the whiskey or rum. Add a little water, taste it, add a little more, taste it. Um, then you, that's the best way to find out how much water you should put in that particular drink and um yeah just pouring water in it like you don't care that will almost certainly make you put m too much water in well it took away a lot of the sharpness so that's very good but the, um, the aromas are the same. Um, a lot of sweetness, um, or, but not overpowering sweetness. It's still that a little bit of honey, a lot of caramel, and a lot of toffee. Um, and those exotic fruits that I still can't. Maybe it is pineapple. Maybe there are some apricot there. Yeah. I'm going to say exotic fruits because I'm not sure what flavors I'm getting. I'm just getting... Yeah. So. Look at this beautiful dram. Let's go. Wow. So adding that water took away the uh, sharpness from the nose. It also took away the sharpness from the palate and, um, and made that molasses really uh, jump out. So there's a little bit of honey sweetness, a lot of caramel and a lot of toffee and cream. You know, not whipped cream, but the cream you make whipped cream out of, but mixed with that caramel and toffee. Really good, really, really good. It actually has, the finish has a little bit of 
dryness. The palette is mouth watering, and um, the finish is dry and powerful. Has some of the same flavors, but also a little bit. I'm actually gonna say a little bit of oak and a little bit of spice. Only tiny hints in the background behind that uh, sweetness and, uh, and and exotic fruits. It's not as good as I remember the XXX3. I can't remember what I put that at. I'm actually gonna try and put a little bit more water in this. Only just a tiny bit because now I've drank some of this and um, well, I forgot to talk about the leg on this and this very heavy leg. Yeah. Same flavors, less sharpness, still powerful, but only in the flavor wise. See, it actually got better the second time I put water in it because then I kind of hit where I want it to be. Now I know for sure that there's spices and a little bit of bitterness and definitely oak at the finish. Um, this just got better. As you know, I don't like those oversweet rums. I like there to be some complexity and some depth and some of those um, darker flavors, uh, as I like to call them. Um, and this one is uh, well, well, it's complex, but but there's, but only just kind of complex. There's a lot of power, and um, there is those darker um, flavors at the back, the, at the finish. So, hmm. Where to put this? I can't remember. Thinking about the number three, I liked it better, but I could remember wrong. Sometimes when you when you taste something similar or for the, from the same distillery as another one, you you kind of get mixed up what you thought about the other one. So I'm just gonna go from what I what I think this. To me, this triple X. Two is an eight, so I'm going to be putting this at an eight. Yeah, so there you have it. That's the video for today. The next video will be, I think, tomorrow, and I will be doing a um, monkey shoulder blended whiskey. Yeah, never heard of it, or actually just heard of it last week, so I thought I'd give it a try. Um, I have very low expectations of, of that one, so, well, maybe I get a good surprise, or maybe my expectations of it will be fulfilled, so, but check that out tomorrow. If you like this video today, please give it a thumbs up, and feel free to share it with friends and family. Also, please um, do leave a comment down below, I will respond to all of them. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and maybe hit that bell button so you don't miss out on future videos. Um, last but not least, please check out my Instagram account, StoneGun underscore. And if you like what you see there, give me a follow there as well. That will really mean a lot to me and this channel. So uh, have an absolutely awesome evening, and uh, I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.